Hello and welcome, it's the Green Squire doing a critique of one of my earliest games where I had total map control, by all means should have won this game, but still suffered an embarrassing defeat. Even though this one is a loss for me, I still think it's important to go over it, because a lot of the time your losses can be even more valuable to review than your wins, and ideally, you new players won't make the same mistakes I did. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you kind of look over here, he's just sending in some unprotected engineers which are getting mopped up by my little tank and scout combo, which it might seem kind of cheap, but it really, really works wonders. It's not too hard to work into your initial build, and it really can hinder their expansion as you see here. And I think this little drone is a flying drone actually. Uh, yeah, if you can kind of see here the rover, it's actually a flying unit so I need some AA to take it down, which I'm not sure if I knew about at this point in Supreme Commander, but he upgraded his commander right away to get that um, little support drone. So very interesting play. And if we go ahead and look at our, let me speed this up a little bit again, our initial builds, I have a ton of factories going and Right away, I have a lot of the map control, my commander's forward. I have this up here, basically, I blocked his thing down here. And what is he working on? He only has one single factory. He did, he teched up his mass extractor, which is something I actually would recommend against doing. He's already teched up three of these mass extractors. It's generally a better idea to go and get free mass extractors and only when you can't get any more should you think about upgrading. Because the mass he put into these, he didn't put into tanks and he literally just ceded control of the entire map. This is basically the entire map and somehow he got this with his flying drone. And right here, this really should be game right here. It should be a really quick match, eight minutes. His commander comes out, my commander's here. If I had a little bit more units, maybe I could have been able to stop him right there. But he has, it looks like, a couple point defense cannons, and I couldn't quite seal the deal right there. So I'm bringing in some reinforcements. Let me go ahead and speed this back up. Look at this. This really should be game right here, but again, he has just so many point defense things. Let's see how many he has right now. He has eight, eight points defense cannons. So generally, again, I would suggest putting your mass into factories because point defense cannons don't move. Like they, they did their job here. They warded off this attack right here. And now he has a bunch of mass on his front door that he can reclaim. But these point defense cannons can't do anything else. And I still have control of the entire map. And this is actually a really good opportunity to look at how good egoing can be. Because I have the entire map and uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. I think I'm reclaiming right now, but look at, <laughs> I'm getting 16 mass. I don't think I'm power stalling. Am I power stalling? Uh, yes, I am power stalling actually. But uh, he's, he's honestly not too far behind me in mass. And that's just because he's teched up these things. So I, I was really slow to tech up. I don't even think I've thought about trying to tech up yet. Um, I am upgrading my factory, I guess. But I should definitely be upgrading some of these guys. And you can see he's actually building tech 2 point defense now. He must have teched up his commander. And he really doesn't have much choice but to do this at the moment. And it looks like we're kind of trying to skirt around uh, these point defenses down here, but that's not gonna work because there's a point defense right here. So at this point, I was kind of stuck. I had no idea what to do. Uh, I had total map control, and I, but I was new enough that I didn't know how to seal the deal in this case. It can be frustrating. So let me just speed this up a little bit and we can kind of see what goes down. So he's coming out here. He's just doing a point defense creep right now, uh, working on some tech 2 power, tech 2 point defense, stealth field generator. I would expect him to do some shields in the meantime. And there I go, another just wasted attack. 
Uh, looks like I'm coming over here with some <laughs> mobile missile launchers, but I am on Tech 2 myself as well. But yeah, at this point, I am just at a loss of ideas right here. So, and this is where it all starts to go wrong. I build an artillery installation to try to get him from long range, and I guess it might I mean he doesn't have any shields but artillery is incredibly expensive for what it is if I go over here and I try to find artillery where is it this guy costs 2,000 mass to build one single artillery and again point defense can be good and stationary defense has its purpose but 2,000 mass for something that doesn't move and if we can see here, middle of the map, it can reach his base. Tech 2, it's a little bit too short to do base-to-base -base combat for either of us. So, um, I put it up front. But if we look at how much it costs to tech up, 4,000 mass. So, almost for the price of essentially two artilleries, I could have teched up to tech 3. And honestly, that could have won me the game in so many different ways. These Tech 2 point defense are good against all the Tech 1 spam I was putting and the Tech 2 units I was kind of sending. But Tech 3 units, enough of them would easily, maybe not easily, but they definitely would have run over these, these defenses. Um, and not only that, but Tech 3 also gives you the ability to build experimentals. And all of this stuff wouldn't even take an experimental down to half health. So all this tech 1 point defense, that means nothing to an experimental. Tech 2 point defense it would just get stomped on right away. So this was a terrible investment of resources right here. But realistically, I didn't really know much better, so let's just see how this fares out. Looks like I built some bombers. For some reason, I built tech 1 bombers. Uh, I kind of had the right idea but, I, I mean, some Tech 2 gunships would have done much better. Or even teching up, where's my air factory? Right here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a Tech 1 air factory. And again, I have time. I am in no rush. Because if we look at his stuff, he has one single factory, two factories, one land factory, one air factory. None of it is teched up at all. The only thing that's teched up is his armored command unit. And he's only on, I believe, only on Tech 2. I don't see any Tech 3 stuff. Oh, he does. He has teched up his mass extractor. And he's actually making double the mass I am. Or he must have been reclaiming. He's still almost comparable to the same mass as me. I'm guessing he scooped up all this stuff that I was kind of sending against him. But I have total map control. He's making almost as much mass as me. I definitely need to step up my eco game, all this stuff could easily be doing more for me and he's actually set up counter artillery batteries of his own and this is crazy one two three four let me just make sure i catch all of them four four counter artillery batteries right now and some tactical missile defense so he's countering my artillery base with artillery of his own and it's actually working so, not only was this artillery base a, a poor decision, poor allocation of resources, but it's, it's under attack right now and it's crumbling. I think I have, what, one... Oh, that's, that's even a point two point defense. That's not an artillery. So, I only have two artillery units. Uh, I don't even see the second one, but one... Where is it? I must just be missing it. I mean, it must be dying. Is it? Is it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's not even built yet. So, bringing another one up to construction. And this this really is just kind of pitiful at the moment. Because not only do I have full map control, not only did I start building this artillery, but he beat me to the punch. And look at, look at how well defended this is. And this is really the point when you need to ask yourself some macro level questions. And a Reddit user by the name of Darabus was kind enough to watch my replay and offer me some questions to think about. Like, one, is his base well defended against a land attack? And that would be a hard yes, because as we saw earlier, he had tons of tech 1 point defense, tons of tech 2 point defense, and 
that I really can't beat with my land army at the moment. Another kind of question, is he fortified enough to defend against long range bombardment like these tactical missile or uh, sorry mobile missile launchers and artillery installation and in this case yes he is very well defended against that sort of thing he has shields going he has all these buzz kills everywhere so i really should have taken into account all this stuff and tried to switch up my strategy uh, another question is he defended against something like a nuke and that would be uh, no, he's not. He doesn't have any teched up factories. His commander is teched up, but again, he's still building more tech 2 point defense. So he probably doesn't have a tech 3 or tech 2 artillery, sorry. So he probably doesn't have a tech 3 commander, and I could easily just build a nuke and just for fun, I guess I don't have any tech 3 engineers, but a nuke launcher costs around 15,000 mass, and just for comparison, all of these Tech 2 artilleries, he built six of them. So at 2,000 mass apiece, that's 12,000 mass he put into these artillery bases. And to be to be honest, they're working. They are destroying my firebase up here. But that much mass would have built a nuke launcher to around 70 or 80 percent or something like that. 12,000 mass out of 15,000 mass for a nuke launcher probably for me at least would have been a better allocation of resources to put all this firebase stuff into teching up and building a nuke launcher because he's not even a tech 3 he couldn't defend against that but props to him he is defending against all my attacks very well and let me go ahead and speed this back up and there i go trying to attack again with just purely tech 2 units and as we were talking about earlier if i'd have asked these questions to myself uh, I would have very well known that these Tech 2 units would have been just annihilated. Like, look at all this just ridiculous amount of turtling he's doing. Um, Tech 2 units wouldn't have cut it. Tech 3 land might have cut it, but honestly, there's better ways to break this than land. I probably might have done... Does he have any air defense? Let's see. I think he has, what, one? Oh, he has four, four railgun turrets. But if I built some Tech 2 or Tech 3 gunships, these would have fallen quickly. Oh, he does have one flak. So he's, he's somewhat defended against air. Um, maybe a little bit weak. But again, an experimental would have rolled all over this. Uh, a nuke, since he can't build nuke defense, a nuke would have taken him out instantly. And I easily have the economy for it. I have the entire map. Let me just speed this up again so we can kind of... Uh, just get to the end of this guy over here so he he totally destroys my firebase over here and you can't see the mass probably because all of this artillery has been falling on the buildings and overkilling it but my poor little commander uh, over here all by his lonesome and he's just getting bombed by this artillery so I think I built these because I was worried about these fighter bombers which caught me totally with my pants down and this is just so sad because if I'd have scouted, I would have seen this Tech 2 Air Factory. That's another question you should ask yourself. Am I in imminent danger? He does not have a land army, but he did have an air factory and he was queuing up fighter bombers. And this, at this point, I was just totally on the wall. I was, my heart was beating and uh, this wasn't looking good for me somehow. How is that possible? This wasn't looking good for me. But I think, yeah, I think I uh, just queued up a bunch of Tech 1 air defense. And I think this did deter him away. But credit where credit's due. Ian's Rad played like a champion. He did that so well. He destroyed my firebase. He did everything I was telling you guys to do. He saw where I was weak. I basically had no anti-air and he just built some tech 2 fighter bombers destroyed literally everything in only a few minutes and now the game is looking much more even his eco is amazing compared to mine and that's probably just because i'm power stalling right there which i need to address but here we go tech 3 land factory kind of late to the game at this point i really need to focus on making an air force of my own and here's my kind of emergency reaction um, again, still pretty vulnerable to air. I have some of these 
but if he really wanted to, he could take me out right here. And so I really need to fix my power situation and get an air force of my own. Looks like I'm trying to, but my economy is just in the toilet, so I can't do it at the moment. But again, he played this like a champion, so great job to you. Let me just fast forward this. I'm not, I'm not uh, tapping out yet, I'm kind of on the ropes, but I mean that many fighter bombers and I'm just not reacting uh, quick enough. I am building up some power, building up some power. So I guess he's, he's given me the time to tech up, which he really shouldn't be doing. He should just come in and just kill me while he can. It looks like he's doing that. Um, in the meantime, he should definitely be sending some engineers to go reclaim all this stuff and, and expand. If I could say anything, if you're watching this, um, just expand a little bit more aggressively. You, you did identify my weakness incredibly, but what is going on? Ah, now he's building tactical missile launchers, and that will probably hammer it home. He takes out all my core mass. My economy is probably back in the toilet, just as we had unclogged it, it's back in the toilet again. And so, yeah, he's, he's doing this really well. He really turtled well. He found my weaknesses and exploited them incredibly well. And that really was just a good game. So, if I could say anything, it's to focus on what's important. Like, does he have a bigger land army? In this case, no. Can he defend against long-range bombardment? It, it, like I was trying to do over here? In this case, yes. I should have scouted and seen this imminent threat and built something of my own, but I was just too late. And that ultimately resulted in the GG's. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Please try not to make the same mistakes I did, and as always, stay tuned for more to come.